Today's box card is the Gingerbread House box card. <laughs> Merry Christmas! The Gingerbread box card comes from the Yuletide box card set from SVG Cuts. The only graphic that I used on here is this graphic on the back of some candy canes, which is from the Recollections set that I bought years ago. Um, the uh, pearls that I used on here, I don't know why these are solid. They all come in the same box, <laughs> but these are more solid. Um, I would have liked to have used the same uh, uh, dots or whatever that they used at SVG Cuts, but I can't find them. And on the listing for the uh, for the Yuletide box card set, she put on there to use puff paint, and that's where I bought the puff paint. But in her assembly video, she doesn't use puff paint, so I have no idea where uh, what you know what those are, where to get them. And I've looked at Michaels; I can't find anything like it, so I just use what I had. And then I've got these on on the side here. And then this this on here, I I don't know if you can see that. I used the gold puff paint for the um, uh, where you see gold. <laughs> I don't know what they would call those. And then I just used the silver uh, glitter puff paint uh, on the leaves. And what I did was I just drew them on in in like a straight line, and they shrank so much and. So I just decided to go over it with um, a paintbrush to completely cover the leaves. And I think it worked out. Uh, uh, and the, the, um, the gold things are a little pointy because, you know, when I put them on and then they dry, uh, or when I put them on, they have like a point at the end. I don't know why. I can't figure it out how to get it to not be so pointy. I like to just be a round dome, but I can't figure it out. So it ends up being pointy and then it dries like that. <laughs> um, but I guess it's okay. <laughs> um, and I also used a Zot to make this part stand out a little bit. Uh, because on SVG Cuts uh, website, their image uh, shows that that stands out a little more. Um, and then the, the doorknob on the inside is just one of these, but smaller, and it's one of the gold ones. So I'm going to show you how I made this box card. So I decided to start doing this in time lapse because there are a few pieces that will go on that will take a little bit of time. And this time lapse is already going to take almost three minutes. So it took me a while to put these things on and I thought it would be easier for you to watch than have to be, you know, bored watching me put all these pieces on. For the trim, I used uh, the gold uh, fabric paint from Magic Fly and then the uh, silver glitter uh, 3D fabric paint from Magic Fly for the leaves. For the beads, I I have these beads from Amazon that I've mentioned called jewelry. It just says jewelry beads. And I've got like an apple green, a gold, which is, it looks gold, but it's probably more like a yellow. And then there's a pink and a red. And those ones are in the size, in six millimeter size. And they just go on with this uh, wax pencil. There's, there were somewhat hard to pick up uh, off the mat, so I had to put them over to the green mat to be able to pick them up with the wax pen pencil. But eventually I was able to pick it up on the silicone mat, <laughs> but it was difficult to do that. And then after I put this on here, or put these beads on here, I'm going to put the little gold bead on the door for the doorknob. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the windows on because those also take a few minutes and there are four windows that I have to put on. And after I put the glue on and put the window on, I have to uh, wipe up all the excess glue and check the other side to make sure that the, uh, the window's on straight. And then I'm going to put the chimney together 
which is just a flap on the top. <laughs> and then the next thing I have is this other trim that's going to have some white uh, pearl beads. And I've marked those with a uh, the Cricut pen, Cricut pen so that all of the white beads go on even. And these were not very difficult to put on. So now back to the rest of the video. Okay, so I have to put the, um, I'm, I'm just going to put this on here, but I'm not gonna, this isn't where it's gonna get glued to. I'm just putting it on here to um, make sure that I know where the, uh, door will go because this door is going to go on this layer so I'm just going to put some glue here I don't have to put it on the door just as long as it's in the area that the door is going to be sitting that's fine and I I've waited for all of these beads to uh, dry Okay, I'm going to go ahead and glue. Um, actually, this piece gets attached to here. So before I do that, I'm going to glue this, the back piece on. I've just refilled this glue bottle. This glue goes so fast. <laughs> well, it's a tiny bottle, so. So it's just gonna be spaced as even as I can around this whole thing. And, uh, going to curl it a little so that it's not going to curl when it's sitting <laughs> up. I'm going to put this on after I finish this and I'm going to put uh, the glue on this. This is my chipboard um, just to make sure that the the card is you know not going to curl up. And I I uh, did the offset feature on the Cricut Design Space to create this piece um, so that the this piece is not bigger than the um, uh, than the piece, so that the chipboard will have a uh, space. Uh, all the way around here and that there will be space around the windows so that it's not going to show on the other side and these should be dry enough that I'm not going to worry about them moving around but just in case <laughs> I'll make sure I don't mess them or mess around too much with it okay so this uh, piece is going to go oops this piece is going to go right here and for this I'm going to have to enlist the help of my tweezers <laughs> and this piece when it was cutting in the Cricut the uh, you, I don't know if you'll be able to see that this piece uh, started to get torn up torn up the Cricut uh, blade didn't cut it and I ended up having to um, put some or use a exacto blade to cut it off the paper so that I didn't uh, have to um, tear it or something and um, I don't know why it's a brand new Cricut blade and it's the premium one with the German carbide blade I don't know why it's messing up
So that's all the glue I really need for this. And I'm just going to hold it up a little just so that I can put it on and not, you know, get glue everywhere. <laughs> so I just want to make it so that it's even and and it looks good. And I think it was a good idea to put all of the puff paint on this beforehand because uh, if I had glued or if I had painted the puff paint on these leaves, um, I mean, the, these gold ones, I just, you know, glop, 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 and then <laughs> let them dry. But these I actually use the paintbrush. So um, if I had used the paintbrush, it would have gotten all the all over the the paper so um, I'm going to go ahead and glue this onto here first I just want to make sure it's against the bottom and the uh, <sighs> The front is just going to glue on to these tabs so it won't be difficult to get those on. This card is almost done. Last thing is the is putting this on. I'm going to uh, put the zot on there now. I'm just gonna stick it here, and I don't know. I should put some. I didn't do this on the other one, but I'm gonna. I'm just gonna go ahead and do that on this one. What's that? I'm just going to put three on here. That's not even, but it doesn't matter. You're not going to see it. <laughs> It'll just make it a little, uh, add a little more dimension. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure this is dry first. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to put my, I'll fold these. This is a nice looking card, I think. This is one of my favorites. I mean, I like all of these box cards, otherwise I wouldn't make them, but there are some that are my favorites, and I love gingerbread houses. And I had a gingerbread house button, but I decided to use the gingerbread man button, or should I say gingerbread person? <laughs> and then this piece. be good good to go now I want to put the white piece on make sure that it's clean on both sides Zot for my button. I'm just gonna put it right in the middle or off center. <laughs> Doesn't matter. I'll well, put that in a little better. Okay, and that's that. And 
This does seem to want to curl though. And it probably will want to curl more because of the the button. Yeah. This back probably should also have a piece of chipboard, but once uh, someone takes the the button off, then it probably won't do that anymore. I ended up taking the Zot and the button off of the top of the box card and lowered it to the middle in the right side just because it would make it so that it didn't fall backwards so much. I just thought it would be easier if it was somewhere else. So this is another one where it's going to be round. So after I put the uh, glue here on the bottom, then um, I'm going to have to use the thin double stick tape. And I'm going to look into that uh, glue that you uh, that quick drying glue that you just lick to put the envelope or to seal the envelope I think that would be so much better for some of these cards but because it's such a thin space I'll have to make sure that I put them on uh, you know thinly so that it doesn't get your glue all over your card that's one thing that I have to worry about with with using glue that you can put on that dries and then you lick the envelope because it may not work out that great I think this is good but um, the double stick tape I mean but you know if it if it sits here and then all of a sudden it comes off before somebody's able to send out their, or before somebody's able to get the card to be able to send it out. I think that if you're making these at home, it's probably better to uh, seal these and then immediately take it off and seal the envelope. So that's the gingerbread box card. So uh, thank you so much for watching and tomorrow is my last boxcard video for December. See you next time. Bye.